Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to what's most likely going to be the final episode of Before the Echo. I'm just going to settle up a bunch of bonus stuff so that we see everything that this game has to offer. Now, the true final boss dropped us two spells. And we're going to go ahead and do that right now. This is Amber Glow. You need to achieve 96% accuracy or better on guitar sound. So, let's go then.
Ooh, okay, there was like four misses. Could have been better. I could have full comboed it, maybe. But that went pretty well. Alright, one more. Luminary scroll. Piano jam, oh boy. It's got the funky BPM uh, shifts. It's a piano song. Let's see how well this goes. Oh boy, that was almost a miss. <laughs> okay. Point two percent. Oh well, it is a tricky song. It's probably the hardest song. It, it, what am I saying? It is the hardest song. But okay, got all that stuff. And we got the achievement: Eurydite, learn all spells. That was nice. Okay. Well, we got Aaron's shades. Woohoo! It is a spell cooldown. Now, all right. Now we got the radiance. We can synth this thing. Who cares about our level? We'll just go ahead and push it up. Let's hope this works. Oh ho, we've got Iridium. Alright, let's see what this thing does. I don't see it anywhere. Other. Is it on the other? Allow it access to question mark, question mark, question mark on the floor select screen. Ooh. What's this? This place. There's nothing. No walls, no floor. A void. Jane? Damn. They never told me about anything like this. If this is a simulation, we must have exceeded its physical boundaries. The program space is blank. Why wouldn't they close this off? Jane gave us the recipe for Iridium. Giving you recipes just involves hitting a button. It's automated. What if they didn't mean to include it? You think Shira hacked it in? Nope. That was me. Whoa, whoa, what? Whoa. Nice to meet you too. I don't understand. Who the hell are you? I'm exactly who you think I am. I'm reasonably confident you're not. Kai, they think you're an invaluable asset to the planet. Admittedly, the tower's primary purpose is to ring your wedding bells, but I'm sure taking a full backup of your consciousness would have its uses. Since they're already poking around in there. That's impossible. 
Computers won't reach the computational capacity of a human brain until 2030 at the earliest. This tower seems a little sci-fi too, doesn't it? Yet here we are. What do you want from us? Haven't you people done enough? Kai, in almost every meaningful way, I am you. You can trust me. I'm not with the tower. Well, I don't know what this place is, so clearly we're not identical. I can access the tower's programming and databases. It's a weird feeling. I brought you down here because it's the only place they can't observe. Because it's not a constructed space. Exactly. And if they realize what I'm doing, they could prevent it. Which is what? There's a large sector of hidden data. And I mean hidden. It can't even be accessed from within the tower. I only realized it existed by tracing inodes on a discarded stack cache. A security flaw. Yeah, I'm good at that. So what are we supposed to do? We're in here, same as you. But you can wake up. I can set it so that as you begin to wake, the data, whatever it is, is automatically streamed to the visual and auditory centers in your brain. So do it. I need to give you an item. So give it. It doesn't work like that. The only way I can give you an item is if you win it in a battle. Well, can you at least make it an easy fight? It's not actually me that makes it difficult. It's just certain numerical values in memory. But down here, those numbers are strange. There are overflow errors everywhere in this space. It might be hard as hell. Oh boy. Figured. Do it, Kai. I want to know what they're hiding. Bonus boss. All right. Good luck, man. Bonus dungeon boss. Oh boy. And we're gonna get some piano jam again. Oh Christ. Not equipped. I just lost a whole bunch of levels from crafting stuff, so I'm gonna have to return to the safe room, grind a little bit, and then we'll come back. Alright? So we'll leave that at that and see you in a little bit when I'm gotten stronger again. Okay, we're doing this, let's go. Okay, we're doing this, let's go. I swapped up my skill set. And I've hit level 29. Hopefully this is enough. I've got a strategy up and we're going to be use... We put a barrier skill up. I've slot a barrier into it, which would reduce the incoming notes by about three times. 
we're gonna have to keep it up as much as possible. Okay, we've got another barrel. We should. We're we'll trying to cast. Uh, We're we'll trying to cast a powerful spell up. Okay, we've got one shot in. Okay. Okay, I need to put barrier up. Ah, I missed my barrier. I mean, it's fine. Barriers up again. We we'll do sneak some damage in. Okay, with a barrier. I'm gonna go for Hughes now. Barrier up again. That missed. Okay. Can be if I didn't use Barrier Old as well, considering it's such a useful spell. For Forty seconds. Ah, got another injury. Okay. I can just stall for one more injury. That would be nice. Okay, area. I'm out of mana. Okay, I think I stalled way too much there. Let's try that again. I'm gonna fail anyway. Not die, but I'm gonna fail out. Okay, hit barrier as soon as it comes in this time. And mitigate the damage. Throw a quick one in. Keep barrier up. Okay, one, two, three. Angel Ray. One, two, three, four. It's gonna come in to speed up, so. One, two, three, four. Okay, barrier. Maintaining the barrier. Okay, we've got Angel Ray up again. Do not miss. Okay. Let's go for low risk shots now. Because you don't have the mana for anything else anyway. Keep an eye on our health. We're gonna mitigate damage, but I think we're on track. Got him! Haha! We took down the bonus boss. Look at that. Oh yeah, breaking rights rewards. I don't think we'll be equipping those, but we can take a look at them eventually. Holy hell, that was hard. That's it. You should get back. They know something's up. But what about you? I can't, um, obviously, leave the system. Man, it's tough. You know, I can't. I can't live. I'm just a construct. I can't. Guess you're not as smart as you think, huh? What? Hacking isn't my specialty, so I guess I'm not making my presence known. But don't you think they made a copy of me, too? Go find me, Kai. I'm out there somewhere. You really are amazing, you know that? Yeah. Good luck, you guys. Get out of this alive. You too. Alright. So now we've got these items. We're gonna take a look at what we have. We've got this amazing... <laughs> Tomahawk missile bears increases offense plus 30. Yes! 
Alright, we equip that I guess. The sheer offense, we don't really need anything else. And we got imaginary number pot, 95% chance to obtain all items. We don't even need that anymore. <laughs> and other. TNLUG.exe. Set the auto execute upon waking. They're hiding something. Find out what it is. We'll get to that in a minute. But first off, now that we've beaten the bonus boss, there should be a secret scene at the end of the credits. Which we will only be able to see after beating the boss, the final bosses, one more time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So be right back. Hmm. Those two were a handful. Think it'll take? You were brilliant as ever. I'm sure it will. They heard everything they needed to hear. And your performance was wonderful. Adele and Shira. I'd only ever give those roles to you, you know. Oh, you flatter me. It's my job. Do you think they know what's coming? Of course not. And everything depends on it. Lumen, Guigno, Lumen. All right. Let's reset. Oh, hidden ending. So that strange hacker lady. She was working with that guy the whole time. Oh my god. What does this mean? Well, the makers of Before the Echo went on to make another game. I forgot what it was called, but it was a different game. And apparently it builds off of this. It's not a direct sequel, but in terms of... Uh, storyline that takes place in the same world and everything. So yeah, there's one more thing that we uh, can take a look at, and that's uh, well, I'm gonna need to get it again. So first off, we have to look for the extract. It's on this guy. So for all time's sake, we we'll just do one more. We we'll just do one more battle. First, uh, we equip this one since it'll make it easier. Here we go, one for one last time. I'm rocking out to this right now, but you can't see it. Instant kill. All right. So now we've got a hand on this. If you take a look at this, extract times one. The description's in binary. Very odd, isn't it? Well, if you take this sequence, haha, <laughs> sequence, and you run it through a binary, like read it out in letters, you get slash T A T C A G, which means, well, what does it mean, right? Well, if you go over to Play Iridium's website and you type and you type in slash tcag after the end of the website. Well, let me see if I can get this. Well, there you go. You get this website. So it's a secret hidden page, and it says, there comes a the gunslinger. Well done, Kai. Well, on the gear screen, hold down the left trigger, right trigger, A, Y, and then press down on the D-pad. Alternatively, hold C, A, N, and then hit the comma key. You're the key, the genetic fulcrum, if only you know what Mir was attempting to do. But perhaps this way, it is best. Iris. So, yeah, it's more hints alluding to the other game that's to come. 
So, yep. So we'll just go ahead and follow those, inst those instructions. On the gear screen, hold C, A, N, and comma. You receive the item Malignant Cancer. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or not. Alright then. Is it an actual item? Can we look at it? Increase offense plus 20, the deadliest cancer of them all. No, it's not. The Tomahawk missile missile bears are better. Har har. Alright then. So, that unlocked the last achievement, and with that, we have 100%ed this game. So, yeah. This is finally and truly the last episode of Before the Echo. It's been quite a journey. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next game whenever I make it. So, thank you, and this is Koro signing out.